Oh my goodness, if I ever if I ever stopped being nervous, I'd be scared to death. <laughs> you? You nervous? Why are you nervous? I'm the one in the GM chair tonight. So hi everyone. My name's Carol. Welcome to the Sunday night board and buster version of Murder Hobo Wink, where we're doing a one shot this time in my world. Uh, my setting, Heidi's actually played there before. Uh, this was a world I created, believe it or not, for Taryn, the character you see on the Saturday Night Campaign. So uh, the usual uh, housekeeping, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. What? Hi, Carol. I can't hear you. Follow us on Twitch, Hi, follow us on Twitter. Uh, buy our stuff on, on, uh, <clears throat> on our shop. Uh, let's see, what else is there? There's YouTube. Uh, if you want to see any of our previous adventures, uh, you can visit our YouTube archive, archives. And of course, there's our brand new Discord channel, which we'd love to have you guys there uh, so we can chat about the games, chat about your games, uh, chat about whatever. Um, and you can see the same goofiness you see here on that channel. So uh, like, oh, uh, the, beaver t uh, the Beaver House which is Blake's little private project where he keeps posting pictures of beavers. And uh, I want to see more. I wood check the other day because I was in the mood to check wood. <laughs> That's right. Um, so without further ado, let me introduce, I have the cast introduce themselves. Uh, let's see, I have an order. Let's make sure that it's right. Oh, okay, so to my right, Heidi, uh, we'll start with you. Tell, us, tell everyone a little about yourself and who you plan. Yeah. Hey, I'm Heidi. This is my fourth game with Murder Hobo Inc. Um, I got the dice, I got the koozie, I'm all set, decked out. Um, tonight I'm playing Cassandra Frost. She is a human assassin. All right, and down from her is Kyle. Let's I think it is. Yeah, it is. Kyle. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself and who you're playing tonight. Hi, am I here? You are here. I forgot to do the headphones, so I want to make sure. You got to wait a second for them to actually work. I'm introducing myself. Hi, I'm Kyle, uh, a, a often player. Recently, a lot of DMing. I do that a lot. <laughs> um, huh? <laughs> DMing lately. Writing up uh, fun, fantastical, but way too long tirades of one-shot material. Scott has been witness to the very first one of those. Although I think I managed to bring it in at some point. I didn't remember that one. Um, and tonight I will be playing Jody. I am going to be a huge Goliath Paladin. I am very trusting, but I have a lot of handcuffs where I like to hold people and make sure they cannot run away. Oh, perfect. Perfect for this scenario. Uh, <laughs> all right, that is awesome. And now That's right, I'm pulling out my charity case character for this charity. <laughs> you know what, that voice, oh my God, no wonder you said that voice is gonna be painful after a while. Got now, this, also, got this, got this, I'm good to go, guys. <laughs> We're also going to see whether or not Heidi and Kyle's characters kill each other. Uh, that will be rather interesting on no. the same side of the table. So, okay. his, his pockets may be a little lighter, but I won't kill him. All right. And to my left is Scott. <laughs> Scott, take it away. You know what to do. Now, hi, I'm Scott. Um, I'm playing Sibylla, who is a wood elf wizard. Uh, she is um, straight up, just to say, she's just smoking hot, tremendously smoking hot, uh, but she's very weak. She uh, read the wrong book when she was a kid, and uh, so she's kind of sickly, kind of frail, um, can't really wield a weapon, barely carry a backpack, always has to rely on the efforts of other people. Luckily, again, smoking hot. But at the same time, this is whole has gotten to be a bit oppressive. So she's out to seek her fortune uh, and uh, hoping that she can uh, not die by uh, by tripping and falling down accidentally. Well, you get out of the first couple levels, so at least there's that. You have a few more hit points, even right. though yeah, I saw his stat, I saw her stats, and it's um 
<clears throat> yeah, it's a little scary. Uh, although you are super smart, and I think that is a pretty good attribute to bring to a party. Mm -hmm. uh, last but not least, we have Blake. Blake, who are you, and who are you playing tonight? Oh, back by popular demand, I'm going to be Uncle Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, the center square, Mr. Pauline. All right. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a half-elven warlock, and I'm... Uh, just thrilled to be here. I, I anything to get. Good God, you just need to get out of the house, huh? I, I go go ahead and put this out there though. Just as a, I am pact of the fiend. So if there is a killing blow, I would encourage everyone to let me take it because I gain temporary hit points by doing so. Ooh, if there's a fiend, well. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm pact of the fiend. Oh, oh, I see. So so the fiend is a fiend. I, I get it. I get it. Okay. So that's our players. That's their crazy characters. This should be a lot of fun. Uh, especially with, with Kyle's character. I think that suits us perfectly. So you all start the adventure and we're in a world called Reskelon, which is, it's my, actually the world is Woodbaron. The kingdom they're in is called Reskelon. It is the good kingdom with the benevolent ruler, the typical fantasy kingdom. Oh, he's just a darling. What's that? Just a darling. <laughs> so, and they have their neighbors to the west. In fact, I have a calendar behind my head. A calendar. God, I got a map behind my head. I have a calendar, too. That shows the two kingdoms. The red one is the bad kingdom known as the Zorish. They want nothing more than to take over the good kingdom and add it to their <laughs> oppressive and tyrannical uh, properties. And the blue, the big blue section is Reskillen. And right now you guys are all in the capital city. You, uh, as I said, because you're at third level, they actually know who you are. Uh, you've done a few minor uh, tasks for the, uh, for the town before. And you're all, you all are hanging out at Shiana's luck. Shiana is the god of luck, bad or good. Uh, it's also known that this particular place is also known as it's a tavern, but it's also the headquarters of the Adventurers Guild. There are many, many guilds throughout my city. So, so you're all hanging out there waiting for another job because it's a great place to get work or information. Um, it's very, any adventurer who's an adventurer goes there to get either. So you're all hanging out there and you see a gentleman in his mid-50s, dressed in the armor and the colors of the Silver Hammers, who are the local law enforcement and military branch of this kingdom. Um, he comes up to your table and said, you're all known. Good day. Uh, I'm Sir Lorithan Wind, and the kingdom needs your help uh, in a rather <clears throat> um, delicate manner. Uh, and yes, and he looks at you all knowingly, it pays well. <laughs> Would you want to accompany me back to my office? Because I do not really wish to discuss it here. Oh, anything for the Order of the Silver Foxes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anybody else? What, what is Sir Larthen's charisma? Just curious. Uh, he's a paladin, so it's pretty good. I didn't actually stat him out because he is, Sir, I'm giving you the <laughs> leaving. But let's say, let's say yes, probably 18. I'm probably agreeing with Uncle Arthur then. <laughs> I'd be delighted to come with you. <laughs> He's a little old for you guys, though. Yes, yeah, Silver Fox. Yeah. He's got green eyes and uh, graying light brown hair uh, and crow's, little crow's feet. He's Yes, he's adorable. So, all right, he goes, come with me. And he leads you through the town. Uh, oh, hold on one second. Uh, Jody turns to the man who is, he is currently handcuffed to. <laughs> now you're not going to steal any apples anymore, are you, little boy? <laughs> is that a man or a boy? I do not know. Honestly, I cannot tell the difference. They are all tiny, weak men to me. Wait, did he do something wrong and needs to go, you know, sit some time, have a time out in the prison? Oh, we, we, we've, oh. Been, we've been authorized by the magistrate, don't worry. 
No, no, no. I'm talking about the one that's yes. I, 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 know, I know. No, no. He he wanted us to handle that situation. Don't worry. Don't you worry your little head about it. Well, because we're going to the jail, so that's why. Well, hold on one second. You are not going to steal any more apples, are you, little boy? No, no, I'm not. He looks terrified. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I uncuff him, and I hand him some gold. And he Don't runs steal off. any more apples. He runs. <laughs> the wind. All right. I miss him already. Are you ready to go? I, I, I hold out my arms. You can cuff me. <laughs> All right. I cuff him. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. All right. So he leads you through the town to his office, which is, yes, by the jail cells. It's also the, their headquarters. And he goes into his office. He's definitely one of the command staff. Um, and as, as you all gather around, he'll then say, about six months ago, we cast, captured a Zor spy lurking about town. Well, last week, unfortunately, one of our spies went missing in Zorish. We heard from a diplomat of theirs. They contacted us, um, interested in trading this spy that they captured of ours for the spy that we have. And basically what we need you for is to escort him to the meeting point and ensure that we get our person back safe and sound and he gets there safe and sound. Um, the pay is 100 gold per person and any expenses you may incur traveling. Uh, you will have horses and carriage so you can do him running away. That's fantastic. Fantastic amount of money. <laughs> so what say all of you? Oh, Let's you go. already have, you already have my answer. <laughs> How about you, Goliath? Does you he already... have all of his hands and feet? Yes, he does. That <laughs> will make this much easier. Take me to him. Well, we'll bring him here. I mean, no, he... no, I would like to go to him, please. Um. Okay. <laughs> He does trust you guys. You said you've been known around town. So he gets up and he's like, follow me and brings you to the cells. And there is this very sullen looking uh, gentleman, rather large. And, and you can tell he, he has, he's definitely got a slightly darker complexion that is common of, of the Zorish. Um, Sounds like he would be a terrible spy if he could not blend in. They're the, they're the Moors, aren't they, Carol? They're the Moors. You're racist. <laughs> well, here's... No, not that dark. No, 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 no. Um, no, basically, there are, enough, there are enough refugees from that uh, country in here who legitimately are here and are running away from there for obvious reasons because it is a really oppressive regime that he does fit in. He just looks like another one of the refugees. Mm. So... So basically, he go yeah. So Lorthan goes in, unlocks the door. Um, actually, do you want? He looks at I, he looks at Jody and said, "Do you want to put your chains on him, or do you want to use ours?" Oh, of course, I will trust my own chains. Thank you. Okay. You could be a spy yourself. I've been here for a very long time. No, very no, ingrained. No, I am no spy. I believe you. I give him big hug. Oh, oh. Okay. All so, right, let me go in. I would like to get him. Yeah, he opens the door and lets you in. All right, I grab the spy, I put a manacle on him, then I drape him over my chest, or not my chest, sorry, my back, and then I grab his other arm and I chain him there so he is like backpack. Then I make sure I get his <laughs> legs, wrap him around, and he is chained to my back now. Uh, you're, you're probably going to want to chain him to the cart that we have for you. It is going to be about... Uh, you can fit a cart in here? That is crazy! No, 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 no. We'll take... Oh, this. take a, take a look at him. No, he's, he's got this under control. He, he's... Yeah, but it is about a two and a half, mo uh, two and a half day uh, ride, which is why you're getting horses, and you have to be there in about three days. The meeting is a, like high noon... Three days from now. We'll get there. 
I'm sure you will, but I probably not with him on you like a backpack. But he is so comfy. Once again, well, don't you trust? Well, don't you trust, uh, honey? We got this. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Oh, I make sure I spend some time in a unchained Uncle Arthur, because that would be a little bit of a deterrence if I have to <laughs> carry him and Uncle Arthur, but and I, then I'm I, going I, to have to carry Sylvia at some point. But I'm but then Cassandra. I don't know what's going to happen to her, but I don't want to. Cassandra carry can him. walk. Thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm just checking. You put me on top of him. <laughs> <laughs> the problem you do have to be I do suggest you take horses otherwise you probably will not make the time period I, I also would like could I get could I get just a description of our man just just enough to just to know who we're looking for oh okay well if this all goes well it is a she let's see if I can find a description of her I wrote a description of her somewhere <laughs> Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not. Welcome to the club. I, yep, I, yep, 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 yep. Actually, did I not write a description? The, the actual description. description is irrelevant so long as I have the knowledge. She is short and red haired. I, 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 I'm going to drill him for as detailed as possible. Short, red haired. Uh, again, heck? again, the actual specifics are irrelevant as long as my character knows them. Yeah, yeah, you get it. You'll get it. Um. Basically, think Rainia. Okay. If you know the character, I've <coughs> played her enough times. Um, so, all right. So then you don't want horses or you do want horses? Oh, I'm, we I'm, do I'm, want horses. But how do you fit the horses in the prison? That is my question. No, you're going to come with me and I'm going to take you to the horses. Okay. All right. That so makes sense. Why, why would you say chain him to a horse then? There is no horse no. to chain him to. I said you will chain him to the, you probably want to chain him to the carriage that will the ho- some of the horses will be pulling. Oh, that seems fair, yes. Okay. So then he will go out, he'll lead you uh, to the stables. And yes, there is a cart where you can put him in and you can have like one other person sitting there with him to guard. Uh, you can have one person driving and then that will leave what, two people who actually will need horses. So... I'll take Sounds- a horse. I'm, I'm, I'm excellent at bareback. <laughs> <laughs> I Very climb nice. into the carriage with him still chained to my back. Just put my knees up right in my chin so I fit. All right, who's driving? Wait, are you driving the carriage? I suppose I could drive the carriage if someone could pass the reins into it. It's going to be, okay, so you've got a bench with a back to it. So I'm not sure how there, that. There's, there's going to be a driver and a personal guard. That's going to be two separate positions. I assumed a closed carriage? Yeah. I was going to climb into the enclosed part with him still chained to my back and just Okay, that's fine, but then who's driving the carriage? I don't know. I am in box now. I'll, I'll, I'll take the, I'll take the reins if, if because I, 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 my, my, my dear, I don't think that you would look like you'd be able to actually handle this kind of a wild stallion. <laughs> oh my gosh! So, as, I, as, I, as I turn to to uh, Sibella, all right. Is you are any- muted, Sibella. I'm oh. sorry. I probably can. That all that arms going up and down that just wear me out. Oh, I know. I know. I, I, I don't. I, it, it only comes with practice. You just keep working at it, honey. Oh my God, Arthur and Sibylla, you two are just so precious. <laughs> <laughs> like you both. Oh my God. So is there anything else you want to do before you head out of town? Uh, what is our spy's name? The one strapped to my back, he is our spy. Oh, well, his name, I do have a name, because I did actually write it. Uh, Grinnell Croner. Uh, he's a five foot ten human with black hair and gray eyes, and I said slightly darker. Um, he has basically been silent. Basically, you've heard a few grunts and groans as you put him on you, uh, but otherwise, he is a very sullen disposition. You get the feeling he is not a very good conversationalist. Have you searched his asshole? Uh, we searched everything. He makes good points. 
he was magically questioned to find out what he knew, uh, what he found out when he got here. And honestly, if as long as the magic was worked and he didn't resist it, and all we can do is trust that, he really didn't get anything that we aren't going to change up anyways. Uh, that we, you know, he basically was looking at the walls and the guards and their shifts and when they change. And we regularly change that out anyways. Jody so, pulls out a massive glove. It would be a, it would be a shame if he were to magically detach himself somehow from from, from our, our, our companion here. <laughs> he has been here. He's been in prison cell for six months. If oh, six see. months. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, he's been there for a while. You see, is that long time? We don't murder. We don't necessarily murder spies from the other side. We kind of try to rehabilitate rehabilitate them rather than murder them. You know, execute them. <clears throat> Ludovico technique. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. See, now, they, on the other hand, are not so merciful, which is, it is a little interesting that they want a, to exchange form because usually they just murder our people, you know, forthwith. But in this case, apparently they really want him back and they needed an opportunity to get him back. So now, now, that, you're tell, now, that, I, now that I know what he looks like, describe the royal family. I, I think this is probably the dumb cousin or something. No, oh, 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 maybe, I don't know. He's, his last name, the last name of the royal family is the Mesoberms. And yeah, they they're, have- They're bastards all over the place. <laughs> they're very almost hawkish looking and they have, they have dark hair like his too, like jet black, greasy kind of hair. Um, well, it depends, some of them are short, some of them long, whatever. Um, so yeah, I, no, I don't think so, but maybe it could be like a second cousin twice removed or something. As far as I know, he's not related to them. But they do, they do value the people who are loyal to them. Because if you've noticed, there are enough people in the city that are not loyal to them who have left. That they, they do have to, they do tend to treasure the ones that are. So, are there any more questions, or is there anything anybody else wants to do before you leave town? Uh, what is I'm, the name I, of the spy that we're getting? I'm going to, since I did not put a name down, I could have sworn I had a name down on the sheet. Well, you uh, said his name I'm was so, Reynolds. No, no, so the one that we're going no, no, to uh, you're the oh. back is It's going to be Rania. She is actually a character in this world, too. So, um, you know what she looks like? Rainia, now we've been given. It's it's short and yeah. Red hair. Yeah. Short red hair. I, I, because yeah, I, I needed that for for personal reasons. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, uh, would you like the have the carriage to yourself at some point? No, 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 no. no. I, anything I can do in private, I can do in public. All right, just one little check. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, but but I wouldn't mind provisioning a bit first. It is three days trek. So uh, where, where's the where's where's the the monger? Uh, there's there's a number of shops in town you can get food at. We're, we're, we're familiar enough with the area. Yeah yeah. I I don't we don't need to make a big long shopping yeah, episode of this because <laughs> everybody loves shopping episodes. That's yeah. actually what this one shot is, everybody. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> I only get at least two healing potions. That's it. All right. Fair enough. Um, I will ask the spy on my back what he would like to eat, and then I pick that up for him. If he does not answer, I get sweets and pastries. Do you get? Um, all right. So do you do you bring him into the store with you? Of course, he is chained to me oh, from here hold, on out. Full hold order. He, he's not getting unbackpacked until he's sitting down in the cart. Oh my God! So uh, you do. I do sleep. roll over in my sleep. <laughs> I am you, sorry. You definitely get some looks, and he, once you get into the car, you'll see there are little um, there are places that you can hook chains to that are drilled into the cart or the carriage. Um, and without further ado, you guys head out of town, and I showed you a little map of where you guys basically are. You follow, follow the road that's known as the Isletica Road which is basically goes all the way to the desert kingdom to the south, which is this big orangey brown tannish um, section here that goes all the way up north to the white section up there. And it's a trade route. Um, 
but you're only going to go there about a day and then the road is going to turn off. So basically you travel down a day and you can stay at it. Well, where do you stay? Do you stay outside with the cart or do you go, there's an inn actually at the road where it turns off. Do we trust the inn? Is there like yeah, it's thieves and it's stuff in, there? It is still in your kingdom. It's a fairly well-known inn. Okay. I um, say we sleep at the inn. Get a good night's sleep in a bed. Sure. What do you do with your prisoner? I sleep on bed, of course. Unless I do not have bed big enough for Jody. Then Jody will go and sleep in barn. <laughs> I think what Jody's got him handled. Jody, what do you do with the prisoner? Oh, we talk all night long. <laughs> it's a sleepover. He glares at you all night, which I assume you've got him handcuffed to you. Um, no, no, still strapped to back, like backpack. Oh my God, so you're spooning. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> In order to rehabilitate evil spy, you must show love and compassion through spooning. <laughs> and I might change everything so that I am Big Spoon, but for time being, he can be Big Spoon. I, I, I ask if he has preference. He doesn't answer you. He just glares at you. Okay, I make him Little Spoon. <laughs> How tall are you? I am big. I am nine foot ten, six oh, inches. Regardless of which way it is, he's always a little spoon. <laughs> he's only five foot ten. You know what? I, I will chain him so he is giving me hug around chest, and I will give him hug around chest. Oh, God. No spooning. Just, We're going to face just, each other. The same, oh, my, oh my God. The most dark sleep where it's unbroken eye contact all through the night. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He is chained with his head here. So he can hear what a good heart sounds like. Oh, oh, oh that's, that's right. I've, 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 heard, I've heard that this, the sound of a mother's heart can be very soothing. How hot's the stable boy? <laughs> God, oh my God. Uh, let's see. Let me, let me get a charisma on him. We'll roll on here. Oh, that's pretty He's got a 14 charisma. I'm going to spend the night, I'm going to spend the night with the horses. <laughs> Go right ahead. Uh, um, Cassie or Cassandra, any uh, preference for you? Um, if there happens to be someone yes. cute at the bar, then yeah, but I'm sleeping in a in a bed up in a room. All right, so you oh, know- Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Point of order. So this is, this is a public house, not yeah. an inn and not a tavern. Yeah. It's books, whatever books. <laughs> yeah. I've like totally forgot what the hell it's called when it's both at, 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 you know, a tavern and an inn. You know what? Jody is going to write that down because Jody forgets every time. A public house. <laughs> public house. I know there's another name for it though too. Uh, all right, you know, hey, hey, uh, Cassandra, how, how, roll a d12 against me. I'll channel my inner Frank here. And, oh, you're not going to find anybody. Oh, eight? You roll? I rolled a 12. So sadly, you do not find anybody really cute there tonight. Oh, well, I get a good night's sleep. Sevilla, he is currently you? out in these stables. <laughs> no, he's, he's currently out mucking the, mucking the stalls. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle oh. Arthur, please keep it down. The spy is having trouble sleeping. <laughs> Let your heart beat louder. Are you sure it's him and not Sibylla? I don't know what Sibylla's up to. Sibylla is a bit of a bookworm. She's just going to sit by herself there at the bar and, you know, pull out a good book. Oh, Rod McCowboy! <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a romance novel, but, you know, just... <sighs> Just kind of sitting there by herself, all by her lonesome. Oh. And if someone treated me that roughly, I'd be broken in half. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. It's amazing. All right, so you get up the next morning, get back on the cart, get back on your horses, you go down that other road. It's it's a not as well-traveled or patrolled as the Isletica Road. 
Um, they said that's a main tradeway. You get onto a road that's it's sort of a little bit of a glorified footpath. Um, it's got a road to it, but it's not anything to write home about. So basically, you're getting to a meeting point. Uh, there is a river called the Wind, Wind Runner River, which is basically you're going to meet at a bridge there. But before you get there, there's a bunch of woods to get through. So you travel a bit. And <clears throat> on the second day, at one point, everybody go ahead and make me a perception check. I'm going to roll two. Oh, that's not bad. 13 for me. 11. All right. Uh, 19. 19. And Jody? Or, or if Jody's not, Jody's in the cart anyways with the guard. So Negative nice. two. <laughs> you're in the cart, so you have no clue what's outside. I have extra no clue what's going out inside. So, Cassandra, you your horse suddenly seems to be a bit nervous and you look around and you see something somewhat you know canine like you see a few of them off to the side of the road so everybody <coughs> go ahead and roll initiative and they're all going to go on the same initiative what is their plus are, are we going to keep this or are we going to re-roll we're going to keep this i i like doing the one initiative and just writing it down Mind is, saver. yeah uh, mine's 13. Where is their initiative? I have actually, like, I've managed to copy out the, the handy dandy charts from D&D &D Beyond. <laughs> what the hell is the freaking initiative on this thing? I guess I will just add their decks. I am letting people know there's creatures over there. They look mean. All right, Arthur, what's your initiative again? Thir 13. 13. Jody? Uh, nine. Nine. Uh, Ka I'm gonna have you down here as Cassie. So Cassandra, twenty-two. Wow. And Sevilla. Eleven. What was that? Eleven. 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 Okay. We rearrange. Uh, yeah, yes. This is a very handy dandy <laughs> chair. Well, this will make sense. So Cassie, because you spotted them, uh, basically you get an action. You get you get a head start. Um. Go ahead, what would you like to do? Basically, it's a surprise round. Okay, so I would like to get off of my horse on the opposite side of them and do I have time to like take out my hand crossbow and shoot at one of them, like the closest one? Sure, I'm trying to remember if surprise in D&D was the same. The problem is I have four games this is in my head. It, it, surprise is supposed to be an extra, an extra turn. Yeah, it's, it's a full turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you get a full turn. If Pathfinder, I know it's one action. <laughs> That's why I have like four systems and it can get confusing at times. So yeah, you get a full round. Humble brag. So you go ahead and take a shot at one of them. Yep, and that is 18 and five is what, 23 to hit? Yes. Oh yeah, that hits. So roll your damage. Oh, that's only that's two, eight, okay, 12, 14. You said 14 hit 20, points. 23 hit points. All right. Uh, so damage. One, all of a sudden you see it just go, ah, and, uh, it's dead. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. All right. Got one and, uh, and now get to go again because you've got the drop on them. All right. So 16 hit. Uh, 16 will hit. Um, and remember, you're not getting sneak attack, actually. You don't get sneak attack because you don't have anybody in combat with them. Well, no, no. She you get surprised. You do. OK. Assassin. I think this round. This, this round is no. Yeah, so this round is no. Yeah, so this will just be uh -huh, four points of damage. Okay, I don't care. It's something. Yep. It's, 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 
I swear to God, my freaking pad here is wet. So all the numbers keep fading away. All right. Uh, so then are the wolves. So let's see. You're out. So you're on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got someone driving the car, which it's they can me. get to. It's and me. we've got we've got our poor damsel in distress, Savella, who's on a horse. And Jody's in the cart. I thought I was damsel in distress. <laughs> oh, you, oh, 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 honey, you, you you'll be in distress. Okay, so but not nearly as ravishing as her in that dress. <laughs> oh! Charging in. All right, so I'm gonna. So everyone will get one that's outside. So over on Arthur, one on Sevilla, and then that leaves a second one. So now, who's now my now my action has a hundred and twenty foot range. Would I have been able to get one off before I'm going to be attacked? Okay. You did not she, make she pointed it out. Yeah. And your initiative's lower than theirs. Okay. Five. She she had pointed it out. I wasn't sure if yeah. I got the other one off. That's fine. Nah, I went with the fact she pointed it out, but Okay. No, that's that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. All right. So Who's gonna get the last one here? Two, so that'll be our, oh, Arthur, you're gonna get two. <laughs> All right, so the one on Heidi, who is slightly injured, she's running up to bite you. Bite. Oh. Yeah, does an 11 hit you, Heidi? Because I seriously mm. don't. Does know not. All right. Then I will go with the two on Arthur. Now they actually get to roll at advantage because they have pack tactics. Would it be a disadvantage because I'm elevated? Mm -hmm. I'll go with a wash. Not that elevated, but I'll go with a wash that you actually have slight cover. Uh, and that's a net one, so that misses anyways. <laughs> and then the last one on Savella. Oh boy. Wow, you guys are lucky. My dice are just friggin' terrible. Uh, that's a four plus one or so damage. Yeah, I don't think a, a nine and a, or an eight does not hit Savella. So lucky you. All right, Arthur, it is your turn. You have two on you. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna. Oh, the one, the one nearby me succumbs to my chilling touch and uh he's gonna take some necrotic damage okay is that a hit yeah uh, it's a 17 plus eight yeah you hit <laughs> and he's gonna take five necrotic damage okay it's still up and that's about all i'm gonna do right now okay uh sibylla You've got one right next to you, trying to bite your foot off. Are you muted? Armor. Huh? I will cast Mage Armor. Okay. You cast Mage Armor. And that will move my um, armor class to 16 now. Yay! <laughs> you can do that first thing in the morning. It's like an eight-hour spell. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, whoa, whoa. Are you trying to tell him how to run his character? No, no. Ah. I'm not because I feel so bad because the clothes armor class is so low. <laughs> it's just, I saw it and I cringed. I'm like, oh God, I hope she survives. I'm definitely, I'm not the type that likes to kill off uh, characters. So, all right, Jody, it is your turn. Okay. I <laughs> kick open daughter and I say, Rah, run away before we have to kill you all! Rah! You see, it's a bunch of wolves that... Yes. <laughs> but I hope to be very scary as I kick open door and big large thing comes out at them. Wild animals could be skittish. I was going to say, make an intimidation check. Would I am you... very scary. Uh, make an intimidation check. I am we'll super see. scary. We'll see if they um, respond to that. Um, yes. Maybe? 25? Oh, yeah. Jesus, all right. All right, so all the wolves look at you, Woo! and you know, with that, re you know what, that that reaction, regardless of what the rules react, because screw the rules, they're gonna uh, they're gonna act like they're fright, outright frightened of you, because that 
really impressive, by the way. So they're actually not going to approach you. They're going to keep trying to chew the people that are right there. But they're not going to come near you. That is not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to kill them. They are so soft and cuddly. <laughs> Leonard Pret the pretty, pretty puppies. <laughs> Cassandra, it's your turn. <laughs> <coughs> Good, okay, turn. so it's right up in front of me. Yeah. So I'm going to disengage to get a little bit away from it. All right. And I'm going to shoot it, and that is 16 to hit. That will hit. It is, yeah, it is nobody else in combat with it, so. And that's seven points of damage. You take it out. Yay. It yips and goes down. Yep. Oh no, Cassie, what did you do? <laughs> it tried to bite me. It needed to die. It's hungry. Oh, they're all thirsty little bitches, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now, as for the other three, there's two on Arthur, and I'm going to make two straight attacks. Well, the two is going to freaking miss for sure, but will a 17 hit you? 17 will. Okay. Was and... this the one that I hit earlier or not? Uh... Even odd? No, no, no. Okay, no. okay. No. go ahead. The other one. Um, let's see. Where is the damage? It is... Oh, I want to roll dice. I know they actually have, like, static numbers. Who cares about that? <laughs> you take... Oh, ouchie. It rolled max. Uh, eight points. Uh, ten points of piercing damage. Ouch. As a response, I point my finger at it, and it takes 17 fire damage from my hellish rebuke. All right, it goes down. In fact, it and, I, even... and I gain eight temporary hit points because of that. And, um... Oh my god, it spontaneously exploded! They're exploding! So the thing is, you would normally have to make a, a strength check or be. Oh, no, wait, wait. It gets to save. It gets to save. Hang on. Okay, so what's. Sorry, what save? Deck. It's a deck save. Uh, 15. Does it have a freaking save on here? Um, which save did you say? Dex, 15. That, oh, yeah. Yeah, it made it exactly. Okay, so it takes half. All right, so that was, what'd you do, 15? Well, I want to say 27, because 20. it was 3d10. You know what, that wouldn't have freaking mattered. <laughs> 27. So divide 27 by 2, that's what? That's, thir that's 13. Yeah, that's still two points higher than it has a full. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so you have the one that is still injured on you. I assume that is, that is... Okay, so that is my turn there. And oh, then, no, no, my, my, my hellish rebuke was my reaction. I still get it. Right, turn. I know it's my turn. That's what oh, I said. oh, you need to finish with the wolves. I'm sorry. Yep, 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 yep. No, I because it can get very, I know I've seen it happen where people, when they do a reaction, then the GM will think that was their turn. I don't want to do that to you. I don't want to be your turn. Uh, but, oh God, I can't roll for sure. So, Sibylla, that's um, apparently this wolf, it's, it doesn't really have in its heart to hit you because that's only a nine. Ah! All right, Arthur, it is your turn. You have one more left in your face. Okay, uh, that one I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out the old the, the the warlock bread and butter. I'm gonna agonize and blast it. I rolled an eight plus eight sixteen to hit. That hits. Uh, that's gonna be one d ten plus five. You're probably gonna kill it. That's twelve. That'll kill it. I get another eight hit points. All right. Although, all right. So, uh, do you have any more actions, or is that it? Nope. That's all. That's all. I'm. I'm good. I'm good. All right. I'm, I'm. I'm doing fine. Sibylla. I will cast so, Toll the Dead. Toll what? Toll Toll the Dead. Toll the Dead. Okay. Yeah. So I need to make a ranged spell attack. Yep. It is not lost health yet, so it'll be the basic amount. No, no, I'm, I'm wrong. It just has to make a uh, 
DC uh, 14 wisdom saving throw. Okay. Wiz oh yeah, I rolled a, it rolled an 18. Yeah, so okay. Dave, Dave, uh, sorry, Jody. Yes. There is still one attacking your good friend and holy hotness, Sevilla. I go to save the wolf. <laughs> I run over to the wolf and I say, go away. <laughs> All right, I'll make a save. And I have been uh, watching way too much Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I've changed from Jody to Eduardo. All right. I roll really Malo. It is going to run away. I, I rolled terribly on that roll, and it's probably just as well. I, I can use the hit points. I want to get off an Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Do you have Warcaster? No! Do you have Warcaster, Blake? I have 120 foot range. No! I will take hit for Wolf. It's going to be in the trees. Oh, uh, no, it's it, 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 line, of sight, line of sight obscured. Gotcha. Yeah, it's running away. <laughs> Do not hit the wolf! <laughs> oh, no, but I, I, I lost it. Don't worry. God. All right. So the wolves are wolves, so they don't have anything, you know, they don't have anything loot or anything like that. Uh, is there anything you want to do with them? They have pelts. What kind of bloodthirsty monsters do you think we are? Murder is this, hobos. Is, is, this the kind of, is this the kind of society that trades in pelts? Sure. No, no, like legitimately. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, uh, furs and such. Sure. I'll help the rogue if she wants them. I am good, but if we want to stick them in the back of the carriage. Oh no, I don't want. Oh, that dog meat's just nasty. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> plus, he, plus he'll be, he'll find a way to like get a fang and pick his lock it, it's just all a bad idea okay we'll leave him all right hey yeah. Grinnell, are you okay in all of this what was that i'm asking the guy on my back his name is Grinnell, right yeah, Grinnell. so Grinnell. Grinnell, are you okay he just grunts at you oh oh, oh sorry sorry i readjust him so his <laughs> mouth is not Buried sweetly into my neck. He's still grunty. <laughs> okay, okay. You you're, feel that? You're, you're, you're gonna have to check him for fur balls twice a day, aren't you? <laughs> Possibly. I mean, Goliaths do not have hair, so oh, that's, that's right. I, I don't know what that's. <laughs> Unless you're wearing a belt of dwarves. <laughs> oh lord! All right. So. That would be very awkward having that many dwarves around my waist. No, it wouldn't. You could you could handle it, honey. I, I I've I've had plenty of men around my waist. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, so um, I'm gonna make a check for the horse. Of course, actually, you're still on your horse. There was only one horse that was basically unattended, and that'd be Heidi's. So let's see. Oh, that it, it made it. Okay, so it uh, made the check to not run away. So all your horses are there, and you don't need to spend an hour to track them down. Nice. So you can just do. Do we need to make animal handling to make sure that we didn't to keep things under control? Still, they seem to be okay. These okay. are the trained horses. I mean, said so you get them. This isn't their first rodeo. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, all right, so you guys travel on and you, it gets late, you know, late in the evening and you find a decent place to camp. Is there anything anybody wants to do before they go, go to bed? Uh, describe the campsite. Well, like typical woodland campsite, you know. So heavily, heavily forested, all, yeah. all, on, all perimeter, just like a small little clearing. Yeah, exactly. And lots of leaves on the ground. I, I think of a lot about, you know, where I live. So naturally, I think like. I want to fall. string up my rope around the perimeter <coughs> and basically try to create an alarm. With okay. With with, with with utensils, also just metal bits and bobs and what have you. I've got a bell I can tie on part of it too. Perfect. Idea. 
Um, I will, you know what, if I have to deal with it, I'll do, I'll, I'll make up the stats as I go here, what it would be to, I'll tell you what, make a stealth check. Survi survival? Well, I'm thinking of concealing it. I, it's not, I'm not trying to conceal it necessarily so much as be alerted to my surroundings. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead, make survival then. I mean, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter which, that's just my logic behind it. Yeah, I'm just thinking you might want to hide it from intruders. If, 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 if after I have it up, if the assassin wants or the rogue wants to advise me on that, I would. But I, I wouldn't necessarily have that foresight. Okay. Yeah, um, I'll I'll help Uncle Arthur with that. All right. So what do you? So you want to make a stealth check then? To make sure that any anything that I put up is is hidden. I'll tell you what. Why doesn't uh, Cassandra make it make a stealth check at advantage? Okay, so that, works for, that, works, that works for me. At advantage is 21. All right, cool beans. Oh, no, I'm sorry, 19. 19, all right, that's still, still not bad. So you think you have it pretty good where that an intruder, if somebody's intruding in, then, you know, they're not going to see it. Especially, I'm, and, and, I, and I'm just pulling things out of my bag. I just like, oh, here, here, you can use this, you can use this, you can use this. Have some, have some of this. <laughs> All right, that's you too. Um, Sibylla, what would you like to do? Anything before we're, you go off so to bed? We're, we're, uh, we're, um, sleep. We're in the forest, and she's a yep. wood elf. What's the, um, what's the weather like? It's actually pretty nice right now. What, what's the face of the moon? <laughs> Oh, come on. No, no, no. I was just, uh, you know, she's a wood elf and, uh, you know, she likes being out in nature. And uh, if, if it's nice weather and stuff, she's just going to, she's just going to sleep out, not in a tent or anything else. And just lay out a small little, you know, blanket that she has rolled up and, uh, you know, all natural. Naked? Oh, yeah. Just. Oh, yeah, all right, guys. They, 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 call, they call that sky clad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jody. I say, Jody, what do you want to do with your prisoner for the evening? Oh, I am going to feed him while he is over my shoulder. <laughs> and I'm going to try and convince him to turn from his evil ways so he can stay in the kingdom with us and be happy forever. I don't want to stay in the kingdom with you. Are you going to try to nurse him? Of course I'm going to. Oh. Wait, no, wait, no. Well, uh, he actually will speak. Because <gasps> he feels like you're trying. Make a persuasion check. Oh, oh, I will pull out all the stops for this persuasion check. <laughs> still get negative three, isn't it? Uh, no, hey, hey, Paladin, thank you very much. Oh, 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 oh. He's got a charisma. Yeah. That, and uh, so I rolled a 16 on a die, plus five pers persuasion, yeah. plus another five as I channel my divinity and become even more persuasive. Oh, 26 total. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He'll actually talk to you because he's like, wow. Wait, what, what, why? What does your kingdom have to offer? Well, you have been spy here for a long time. Don't you know what kingdom has offered? I wasn't there that long before they picked me up. Oh. Here, try this. And I shove some food into his mouth, but, you know, I attempt to daintily. We oh. have nice sweets. Oh, 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 God, I am so sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I have idea. Idea. Everybody loves this. And I unchain him real fast. Chain him so he's like a baby Bjorn. <laughs> and I'll okay. be like, check that out. And I'll point at Sibylla, who's lying naked in the grass over there. <laughs> You got that in your land? <laughs> oh, hold on. I adjust him a little bit so he's not riding on my... Oh, my God. What? Oh, here. Oh, his, his perch. His perch. <laughs> I adjust him from his perch, yeah. <laughs> so we have some Dorish women, but we don't have... The only elves that we have there tend to be slaves. You're missing out. Well, they lie I mean, naked. I, I, I they mean, lie naked in your slave chambers? I do not think so. I, I, I mean, I, I, I've been the slave before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Besides, I, if you I, promise to change your ways, I will let you go. 
but but I get my three meals a day. I, you know, well, when and before I had to come here, that I had to provide for myself. But uh, you know, the grand the grand overlord provides, and that's uh, anybody want to make a religion check? Pretty basic. I I actually should get that for my uh, pact magic. So that's, an, that's not a gonna, four. Gonna, gonna be, <laughs> you don't know. Fifteen. You know. All right. So the Grand Overlord basically is, if you guys remember to, I shout it to an email. So it's the god of oppression and tyranny. And basically, it's Zorish's oh. patron god. Oh, that god sounds very nice, but uh, her, her name You guys are not nice. <laughs> well, I don't feel I'm that terrible, but maybe you're right. I do not think you are that terrible either. Grunt. I am getting very tired of carrying you, to be honest, and I want you to be good now so I don't have to carry you. Well, you don't have to. You never had to carry me. You could have just put the chains. I wasn't really going to intending on running. I mean, you are bringing me back to my people. I did actually kind of trust that you were going to do that because I know you want your person back. It's all very pragmatic. Oh, we're getting somebody? Yes, but yeah, yeah, but if, if he's able to get there before without us, then they have him and our person. Lord. So that, that that might be we, we, we want we want to make sure that we have him when we meet up with the people that have our person, because if he gets there without us, then they have well, both. If he is a good person, he will come with us, right? If he, were, if he were a good person, he wouldn't be in jail. He's got a point there. <laughs> That the, the person does not say that. I'm saying that. A little, little fog starts going out of either side of Jody's ear. But he's being nice. <laughs> if, you, if you want, you can put chains on me, okay, and chain me to the car. That might make sense. I really am not digging the whole being a backpack. Oh, oh, you lucky son of a bitch. Do you have any idea what I'd give to be in your shoes right now? <laughs> well, you know, if you convince him to let me do that, and just chain me to the car, you know, then maybe he'll, maybe can, maybe you can convince him to take you along. Oh, no, I've, I've, I've. No, Uncle I, Arthur I, I, is a good not, person. Not, not, Uncle not, Arthur does not need change. I, I, I just want a little bit. I'm not, I, no, that's too much of a, that's too much of a commitment. Oh, Lord. All, All right. right. But I go to sleep, but I make sure that we are facing Sibylla. And I'm putting blanket over and I'm going to let him have one free hand. He can do whatever he wants with it. Well, <laughs> while, while you while you observe, while I cuddle him closely, I'm gonna say I'm not I'm not gonna not, I'm not gonna have a molest Sibylla. But are you putting him? Of molest. course, I wasn't going to have a molest Sibylla. <laughs> no, that is a terrible thing to do. He was going, going to molest to himself. Him molest himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the one free hand is for. He's the master of his own domain. Exactly. You're chained to another man, but you can tittle with yourself if you want. Hey, hey, hey. It's not awkward. That's, that's not nearly as <laughs> that's nearly as out there a concept as you might think. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you guys all get to bed. Oh, I forget. I, yeah, I think you guys all get to bed. Uh, do you set up watches? Yeah, I'll take first watch. All right. Uh, who takes second? I will take second. Unless right. Sabilla would like to. Oh, no. Well, take third. I mean, I mean, I'll and I'll I'll just be in, inter intermittent when when needed. All right. So wait. So who's second watch? Sleep that much. Me. Oh, you okay? Well, well, no. If if we want to just break it up into two-hour shifts, then that works. I'll take final. I'll take I'll take fourth shift. Fourth shift, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that works. It just matters in the time period here. Okay, so I'm trying. What time do you guys essentially go to bed? I know you don't really have watches or things like that, but give well, me a how, how 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 far have we traveled? How many days' journey are we out? If, we're, if, if we know that our time time frame is supposed to be noon on day three. Yes, so you're two days out, but you're only about, you're only probably about three, four hours away from your meeting point. 
Okay, so then uh, uh, that that would be, I would I would even more strongly re refuse to leave the prisoner unchained. But uh, I, I I would say there's nothing wrong with fairly fairly early then, so that we can get an early start and be there on time. Okay, so give me a rough estimate. And who's watch you think it'll be at about two a.m. <laughs> so I can figure out. Uh, I would say that we'd be more than more than it's. It, uh, what's this? What time does it get dark? Uh, it's like let me think of what time of year. I'm thinking it's fall, so it's probably getting dark about five or six o'clock. So we'd be setting up camp well by nine. Yeah. So. Uh, we'll say so eight, nine, eight, eight, nine is one, uh, 11, 12 is two, one, two is three, three, four is me. Oh, I was going to say, you might not get up that early, but all right. So, so between so, Sibylla and, uh, Uncle Arthur. all right. Yeah. So, oh, okay. yeah. Um, so I rolled for what goes up at 2 a.m. And to see if maybe they saw the uh, alarm, and they did not because it was really well concealed. So, Sibylla, you're sitting there, and all of a sudden you hear the sound of clanking silverware. <laughs> what do you do? Okay, um, well... You would, have, you would have been aware <laughs> that we were doing that while we were doing that. Yeah, I will um, try to see what it is. While I'm, and I have, I uh, believe I have, what, uh, dark vision? Yes, dark vision out to 60 feet. Um, so I'll try to see what it is while I'm running over to Jody and uh, Cassandra uh, and Uncle Arthur to wake them up uh, and say that someone has tripped the alarm. But I, I am going to try to find out what it is that tripped the alarm, what I, whatever I can see. I have not descended from the carriage. Oh. All right, so the order I'm going to is going to be Jody, Cassandra, then Uncle Arthur. Okay, so and you have dark vision. So, right. uh, make a perception check. That'll be a 14. Okay, so you definitely see one, and it looks like a person sneaking into the part into the group with a crossbow. In the yeah. hand. Yeah, that, that doesn't really change what I'm going to do to try to alert everyone well, else. That'll be my action to run over to Jody as fast as I can and um, um, alert Jody, then Cassandra uh, and Blake that there's someone with a crossbow that is broken into our camp area. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I want to have. I'm going to do initiatives for everybody right now, mm -hmm. um, but you're the only one right now that's awake. And I need to know if I'm going to freaking shoot at you first or you're going to get people awake first. So uh, everybody go and roll initiative. <laughs> Mine's 16. All right, 16. Cassie? A uh, nine. Uh, wow, that's bad for you, Sibylla. This is the important one. Sibylla? Ten. Ten. What Ten. was it? Ten. Ten. All right. I can't. Couldn't hear you, Jody. I got an eleven. And I got a three. <laughs> it is so sad you rolled that low. No, I didn't roll that low on the first one. So let's see. <laughs> on the seventh and the third one, I rolled much higher. So that is. All right, that is that. Oh God! All right, no, you get yeah. I did roll like a three. Ripples. <laughs> Actually, no, I rolled a four. Well, all right, Sibylla, you're the only one awake right now. Who you're waking up, Jody first? Yes. Okay, Jody, you're awake. I am awake. What's up? Sorry, what is up? Jody, there's someone sneaking into the camp. It's got a crossbow. Well, well, and since she's bare titted, so's your dick. That's true. Yeah, I, I am tonight. <laughs> All right. Well, then I immediately wake up uh, Grinnell. 
All right, your makeup for now. <laughs> Not your other party members. All right, and Alan don't worry, that's fine. <laughs> I'll get up. Person yeah. sneaking, where are you? The per all right, so an arrow is going to come. And now let's see, who am I going to pitch? Let's see. We'll go with Jody being high and Sibylla being low. Oh, it's going to be Jody. You're a big okay. target. I, guess. I do have a person on my chest like baby Bjorn. So I am a little bit harder to hit right now. <laughs> Unless he wants to kill him. They may hit the prisoner. All right, well. You tell me. Um, this is going to be one of those guys. My <laughs> uh, crossbow round rock does a fourteen hit you either which way? No. No. Okay. So you said you have a crossbow bolt goes two whizzing above your head. Um, and then that's that's it for now. Uh, okay, what do you want to do? What do you two want to do? Jody, you have first initiative out of the people that are awake. What do you want to do? I say, oh my god, Grinnell, they're trying to kill you! And I'll cast a sanctuary on Grinnell. Okay. And then I'm going to pull up my massive door, which is my tower shield. And I'll <laughs> stand next to Sibylla. Watch out, they're trying to kill him! Maybe you too, I don't know, but I, I, I thought I would stand here for you. All right, so you yelled that pretty loud, right? Oh, yes, I am very loud. No whatsoever, volume control. All right, so for funsies, um, Arthur and Cassandra, go ahead and make a perception check. See if you wake up. I'll roll. Oh, uh, wake up. 17? Yeah, you wake up. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, yeah, you wake up too. Um, he's yelling pretty loud. So you both wake up to the sound of Joey Jody yelling that somebody is trying to kill your spy. You wake up to the sound of Joey. How are you doing? And getting the crossbow. <laughs> All right, Sibylla, what do you want to do? I will um I will cast magic missile at the uh, mysterious person with the crossbow. All right, go ahead, roll damage, because you can see him. Yeah, that's gonna be three bolts, 1d4 plus one. That's four. Nice. Five, oh. three, four plus five plus three. Four plus five is nine, 12, 12 hit points of damage. All right, so you see him go down. Ugh. Get, yeah, get the spy. So, um, that's Sibylla, Cassie, you're, you're up. Because I rolled freaking terrible initiatives. <laughs> <laughs> so did I, but that's okay. Um, okay, so I am going to... I wouldn't um, be before her. Huh? I wasn't before her. Uh, you were. Sibylla you, you woke up better. Jody. Jody was lower than you and woke you up. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's why. You're okay. actually at the top of the round, but you didn't wake up until after your turn. I don't, okay, I skipped my turn. This. Gotcha. Yeah. Sorry. You want to lose and go lower in the initiative thing? We can do that. Nope, nope, nope. You're fine. <laughs> All right, Cassie. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. We'll say while I was sleeping, I was holding my question. <laughs> <laughs> However, you, I will say for because. Because I feel like, yeah, I'm penalizing you. You can't be picking up your stuff to go do whatever it is you're going to do. Uh, Cassie, so what do you want to do? You have to get your stuff together. Um, yeah. I know you, you're, you have leather armor, so you can I sleep. do have leather. Yeah. In so I'm grabbing. Armor, you're not sleeping in it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm grabbing my rapier, and I'm going to try to circle around the camp, see if there's anyone else. All right, so you grab try and rapier. stealth. So you you grab your rapier and you move to so go and make a stealth check, but that's not all you're gonna get done. <coughs> Twenty-two. All right. Um, okay, so then let's see. Anybody see you? Oh, I think someone's gonna see you. 
Because mm. I rolled a nat 20 on one of their checks. Well, as long as their perception's more than a two. Hmm, actually, it's not. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to see you. All right, so you disappear anyways. All right, so that means all they can see is Jody and Savella because, uh, Arthur, you in a tent or anything? No, I told you I haven't descended from the carriage, but uh, upon right, you're stirring, in the but That's upon stirring, I, I don't need to gather anything because I'm sleeping in my silks. Oh, that's fine. It's just a matter of- But, but upon it. stirring, my mask of many faces turns me into the prisoner. Okay. Um, basically, they don't really see you at the moment because you haven't really gone yet. So there's going to be some crossbow shell at set. I'll do two at each of them. So I can't see. Oh my God. Nope. Wow. My dice rolls are as bad as ever. Uh, I don't think that's going to hit either. That's only a 12. I don't think that hits anybody. Uh, Jesus. Nope. And wow, that was four rolls under 10. This is like terrible. All right. Uh, four more crossbow bolts come whizzing into the camp. Oof. So, Arthur, it is now your turn. Okay. So, still disguised as the prisoner, I'm going to descend. Okay. Uh, and that's that's one of my warlock features, my mask of many faces. That was one of my invocations. Yeah. Um, so, I, I've descended. And I, I have no idea what else is going on. So, I, I need to take a moment to at least gather my surroundings. Okay, that's fair. You did, I, and and I will and I will hold an eldritch blast for anyone attacking me. All right, so you're holding an action. Yeah, and if no one attacks me, I lose it. Well, you look like the prisoner, so exactly. But I but I'm still just yeah. That's I I don't I don't know what's going on. Jody, it is your turn. Can I see anybody? Uh, yeah, and they're, they're at the edge. They're now, well, I don't know. You don't have dark vision, do you? I do not have dark vision. I cannot see shit. <laughs> it's pretty dark. You can make out some, you can make out some people, but it's, I'm going to give them a bonus if you decide to, unless you decide to go melee with them, then you'll see them. You can make out generally where they are. Okay. You know, I'll stand next to Sibylla and make sure she is okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, Sibylla, it is your turn. You have dark vision. You have absolutely no trouble picking them all out. Hey, um, are, can I, are they all like a couple of feet from one another or are they grouped up in a group? What's They're their... Grouped up in a group. They kind of spread out. Okay. Sneaking towards. One that's probably closest to me. And I will cast Acid Splash, a cantrip. So they need to make a DC 14 dex check. Okay, so um, you have, there are, there's one that looks more like a leader type. I mean, they're just fairly nondescriptly, but this one that looks a little tougher. They're, in a, they're an autonomous collective. No, just, yeah. just, one, of the, just one of the grunts. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not trying to make myself an enemy here. I'll just go for one of someone else. God, I can't freaking roll it all. All right, so that's good. That'll work because I can't roll at all. I'm gonna friggin' change dice here in a minute. Did he fail? Well, yeah, he failed. If he fails, he takes three points of acid damage. All right. All right, that's Avila Cassie. It is your turn. Okay, walking around um, the perimeter of the campsite. Do I see anyone? So, do you have dark vision? No. So, like uh, with uh, like with Jody, you can make out kind of make out generally where they are. But if you try anything at range, um, I'm gonna give them a bonus. Yeah, I'm gonna try and sneak up on one of them and stab him. All right, that's perfect. Go ahead and make a stealth check. Uh, do you want the tougher looking one or one of the three grunts or the one that was just hit? 
I, I'm going to throw um, this out there, Carol. You can ignore it if you want, but I would say that she should also have to factor me into that. Well, uh, you? Because she didn't see me change. Yeah, yeah, but you're also still in the camp in the cart, and she's okay, okay. focused yep. around the outside. Just, I was so, just throwing that out there as a potential. Yeah, you would not make, I mean, she didn't, she's watching over there, so she would have seen somebody come to the cart. Okay. Um, they're sneaky, but this is a clearing, and they can't really sneak once they get beyond the trees, which they are beyond the trees, so. Um, well, that's, anyway, a 17 stealth. Let's see if he noticed. Oh, nope, he's not going to notice. So go ahead, make your attack. You absolutely can sneaky, sneaky, sneaky him. Um, fifteen. Okay, fifteen will that will hit? Uh, which one is said the tough one? The uh, one the, let's do the tough looking one. Yeah. Okay, so you hit. Go ahead and roll okay. damage. So is he surprised? Yeah. Yeah, what the hell? Nice. Okay, so that is nine, ten, eleven. Seventeen points of damage. Oh, excellent. I gotta do math. Okay, so that is that much. Okay. Good turn. And he turns around to face you. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, bonus action, disengage, get a little bit away from him. So I'd okay. have to close. All right, you see his eyes tracking you. <laughs> yep. <coughs> All right, so because I'll deal with this one. You guys keep shooting over there. God, make your shots a little better. Uh, if someone decides to shoot at Sibylla, I will use protection and give them disadvantage. His, his forceful erection will 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 spin around in place and deflect any arrows. <laughs> All right, ding, so, ding. One them, so one of them will shoot at Sibylla, so I'll do her turn first. Oh, uh, God, this is just the worst. That's a net one. All right. All right, I'm angrier. Get a better uh, Try a different die. Wait, try my purple sparklies. Um, okay, so that was one on Sibylla. That was terrible. One on Jody. Uh, that was a lot better. That is a my crush bro. 19. Does a 19 hit you, Jody? It sure, is. Sure. Are we including man in front of me though? I'm gonna only give it all right. Add a plus two to your AC. Does that hit you? No, that would no longer hit me. Really? Okay. Well, wait, do you have your armor on? You're sleeping. Well, you see, he's a barbarian, he's bare ass naked. I'm not I'm barbarian, I am paladin. Yes, right. The paladin has metal armor and you can't sleep in metal armor. I cannot sleep in metal armor. Yeah, that you will hit. So that will, yeah, because otherwise- I think you actually had the previous one that would also have hit me then. I'm not worried about it. Okay. But the thing of it is, yeah, that's, uh, the thing of it is, if you, well, you can, but you'll be exhausted, you'll take a point of exhaustion. If you, that's up to you. You'll take a point of exhaustion and then it'll go away by sleeping? Yeah, but he has to sleep without his armor. He just I will take point armor. of exhaustion. Okay, then you'll take a point of exhaustion and it misses. Yes, my dick has been hitting my cock plate the entire night. It has been awful. It that, kept that, me that, up. That sound like the dripping sink was. Okay. <laughs> so, dink, so dink. Do? I'm going to try to fire at you. Uh, that's even better. <laughs> that's a 21. Is that hit <laughs> Arthur? Oh yeah, twenty-one. Actually, hit. <clears throat> no, you look like the prisoner. Right, exactly. So the guy actually looks at you and goes, and he looks at the fact he can see it. The the prisoner is attached to him. There's two of them, and it's like, huh? So he's confused. So I actually have him lose an action, and I will. Or if you, or if you want to have him take it at disadvantage because I had that that reaction ready, I'm fine. It doesn't matter to me. At the point. Um, that probably will miss anyways. Um. Well, it's whether or not, no, he, you know, he's confused. He doesn't necessarily, doesn't want to shoot at the prisoner. That's fine. Um, so now I'm going to go with he's confused. Uh, okay. And then last but not least, the captain. Now so with my dark vision, was I able to ascertain that by taking my, by using my, my turn to make, uh, make in my surroundings? Huh? Make, perception. 
15, if he's confused, make an insight check. It won't be too high. Well, well, no, I just wanted to see if I was able to, like, basically, am I making eye contact with him? Yeah. Okay. So I, I, I'm wanting to see, Do am I aware of the attackers? Was was more, more no, like... Oh, yeah. You can see. You have dark vision. You can see them. They're not... Oh, okay. Dark... That, that, that's all I was trying to figure out. Okay. They've made it into your clearing, mm. so you can now see them. Okay. But, yeah, you've got dark vision. You absolutely can see them. Okay. All right. So the captain goes after the rogue, and you haven't gone too far away from the loose side of you. Any misses because I rolled a freaking net one. God damn it! <sighs> hey, it's great when the DM's dice fail, as opposed to all the players. All right, Arthur, it is your turn. So I've been able to see them. You know, one is confused. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna. But I know I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know what? I I I started this. I started. I, I opened that door. Let's run through it. I'm gonna try and run to him. And in my best, in my best, I have a perform. I have proficiency in performance. In, in my in my best per, per uh, I mean impersonation. All right, I'm you have to show he talks. So yeah, because I have heard. I have. I did hear him over speaking with Jody briefly. Yep. Go ahead and roll performance. You I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, it'd be a combination of performance and deception. So I'm gonna, I'm happy to roll twice. Okay, if you really want to roll twice. I mean, I don't want to, but I'm like, I, I think that's fair. It is fair. You're trying to, yeah, you're trying to do a lot there. So I'll go with that. So my performance is 15. My deception is 14. That's not bad. All right. Well, the guy looks even more confused. And I mean, as you say, the other, however, uh, Grinnell is like, no, I'm the real, wait, 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 what? No, look, I'm chained up. I'm the real prisoner here. And can he, he can he see them? Yeah, he can remember you guys are all in the clearing. He had, a clearing. Oh, he has, he has dark vision. You're in a clearing. He can see you get up and run. You're not far away. Nobody's far away in this clearing. It's not. Oh, I, okay. We, okay. You put a rope around it. How much rope did you have? <laughs> so well, but, between, not, between me, between me and me and the rogue, I'd say hundred feet. Yeah, hundred feet. That's in a circle. Yeah. So it's not Circum that circumference. Yeah. So it's so so it's high. You, you, high, high, high. Heard, you also were talking in his voice. It's not really hard to figure out. Okay. No, so, that's. Fine. I'm gonna make. I'm oh gonna yeah, make, no, that's a good. That's a good point. That's. A good I know point. it's not the guy's turn, but I'm having him make. Jesus Christ. Okay, he's still confused. Uh. uh but, but, and, and 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 by doing this, by going over and running to them, I was trying to say, okay, let's go. I'm. I'm okay. Thank. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying to get them to mission. Mission accomplished. Banner. Behind. Behind you GW. Well, yes. the guy you're dealing with is confused. Oh my God! Cronal is escaping. He's right on your chest, man. Wait, he doesn't know that. He doesn't know that. <laughs> Zodi, it is your turn. He's so used to the weight by now, he doesn't feel it anymore. <laughs> Zodi, it is your turn. Uh, at this point, I am going to make one of the. How close? How grouped up are they? Or no? I, you said spread and out, no, but you did not say how spread out. They're, they're probably yeah. There's probably at least like a space in between every single one. It's not that big a clearing, so they can't be like super far apart. How big is the rope? They they tri they triggered the rope. That's I'm how saying, you heard it. How large was the rope? Hundred feet. So it's That's not really that radius. Really that huge. No, I, I know that's only that's only about seventeen feet. Yeah, it's 30, really small. No, Thirty-five feet in diameter, seventeen feet in radius. They're real close. Yep. Okay. Know, Hundred feet or up is not that big. You guys are really crunched in, but there's only five of you, so you can weave them with a wagon. I have a, a forty-foot diameter spell. I would like to cast. Where are you casting? Sleep. Okay, go ahead and roll. Was it how many uh, people you? How many hit dice you get? It, it's yeah, how many people. hit dice I get, starting with the lowest person, moving up to the highest person. You ex you do not exclude allies, do you? I have. I 40. do not exclude allies. I am trying to uh, exclude them if I can, though. 
Okay, so you're low. I mean, I think you're only gonna get. Every, I think the enemies are all lower level than you. So, go ahead and roll. How many hit dice you get? That is okay. Uh, fourteen, eighteen, twenty-three, twenty-seven hit points. Oh, I wonder if that gets them all. Do they make a save? They do not. Mm-hmm. It starts off with the lowest hit points. And then you subtract and go to the next person. And it, and it is friend and foe. You don't get to discriminate. That is correct. Oh, God. I think you're going to get them all. That's 27. That 27 hit points total. It's not hit dice, hit points. Hit points. Oh, hit points. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, for example, if one of them has 12 hit points, and they go down, fall points. asleep, and then they have... 15 hit points. Yeah. All right, so we got, and it's, all right, so so it's only two, I think, because it's full amounts of hit points, right? All right, full hit points. But okay, it, so. It's remaining, it's not max, it's remaining hit points. Right, so two of them, two of them fall asleep. Oh, God, including the confused one. Just out of curiosity, because Sibylla is there, Obviously, I try not to get her, but if she is within range, she may be one of the people falling asleep first. <coughs> no, Sevilla's level three. Uh, and uh, elves are immune. Yeah, to they're a lower level. Oh, that's right. Elves. Thank you. They're immune to being put to sleep via magic. Yeah. Well, it doesn't say it doesn't matter. They're lower level than you, so okay, you're good. All right. So two of them fall asleep. Uh, that was Jody. Good move. Uh, any other action move or bonus? I will go over to one of the grunts and protect him like Mother Bear. Oh, you're too funny. The, the one with, by me? It's a guy on you, too. The, no, the, the one by me? I don't know. Um, three. We will say odds even. Even is one with Arthur on it. You know what? Just pick one. <laughs> I picked the other one. All okay. right. Good, 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 because I'm going to kill this one. <laughs> I thought you might. All right. Uh, so it's Sevilla's turn anyways. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, um, let's, this time, let's do Toll the Dead on the one I hit last time. And then right. Wisdom saving throw. Yeah, I took three hit points off him last time, so he needs to make a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. Actually, he's asleep. I'll still do it. Okay. Oh, what? what? Oh, he made it. That was an enemy. That's the one time I'm rolling well. It was your saves. Uh, Any other actions? Nope, no other action. All right, Cassie, what are you going to do? Okay, I'm stepping up to this guy again. I'm gonna stab him. Go for it. You can't yeah, you know, though, so. Don't think an eight's gonna do it. Nope, an eight's not gonna do it. All right, so two of the band two of the baddies are sleeping. Uh so that leaves just one. Who's he gonna pick on? Well, he's all confused by the extra um spy in the group. So it's either going to be Sevilla or Jody, because the other one is already. All right, so it's Sevilla. Uh, I don't suppose at the Sevilla does a twelve hit you because you are naked, but is your mage armor still going? <laughs> I think it's this late into the night. Mage armor wouldn't still be up. Yeah, I don't think so. Even where, even though he casts it so late, she casts it so late in the day. So what will twelve hit you, Sibylla? Muted. Yep. Yeah. Scott, um, you're muted. All right, I will roll down. I will assume it's going. I mean, I still, I still can't hear him. Yeah, there's not, Scott, we cannot hear you. Oh, sorry, I was talking. I said, I think his AC is 13 because he cast Mage Armor, 13 plus his three decks, 16 from earlier. 
major armor disc gives you a flat 16, and I think it wore off. By no, now. you are confused with uh, bark skin. No, no, because Taryn you has. want to make bets? I will make bets. You can make bet all you want, but I do not. Taryn has an armor class of 16 because of mage armor. It's a flat armor. Check. Oh, it is not well, a it, flat armor. It, check. It, it, it's still yeah. it's a flat. It's a flat. It's a flat score. I look it up. Otherwise, that means I'm jipping myself a couple points there too. Okay, you look up. I, 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 I got it. You guys argue about semantics. So. Well, I'm leaving her to her semantics. Is Scott there? Scott's not there. That's why. All right, I'm gonna skip oh, him. Did he, did he disappear? Yeah, I, I'm skipping him for now. Uh, bandit captain. Uh, bandit captain's going target after. Base AC becomes 13 plus its dex mod. All right. Well, maybe that is what I did. I don't know. But as far as I know, Mage Armor also wore off by now. Yeah, yes. it, it, that was more than that was more than eight hours ago. But his base would be thirteen. That's the flat. The flat is thirteen plus. Yeah, dex. so would miss. So would miss. You shouldn't walk off. Okay, so the bandit is <laughs> holy crap. All right, I finally hit somebody. So the bandit captain. So you now know. <laughs> Fighting is going to just step up. Actually, I don't think he moved. Uh, he's going to step up and he's going to roll a lot. <laughs> That's a 19 on the die. That hits. Um, all right. He's got a symmetry. So. That's five to hit. Yeah, that's a 24. That hit you. Let <laughs> three. So that is six points of damage, and you seem actually going to pull out a dagger. Okay. So that is his turn. Uh, back to the top of the order, Arthur. So I have the so 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 I ran over to him trying. Oh, please help! Save me! Save me! Oh, him, oh my hero! Uh, and then he fell asleep at my feet. What are your rules? Yeah. Can I just fucking kill him? Uh, yeah, you can kill him if you want. He is helpless. I, I, I mean, because I, I know that's not how the rules work, but I mean, he's helpless at my feet. I should be able to slash his throat, assuming I don't roll a one. Got to do coup de, is there coup de, still coup de gras rolls in? No, there, there, has, there hasn't been for a while. That's, that's why I'm like, the rules, the rules for this are kind of stupid because I should be able to. You treat it like, you treat it like he's unconscious. So, so like he, so well, it would be unconscious is just two two death save fails. So yep. So it, but it's also treated as a critical hit. So basically roll oh, the that, that is Okay, that makes sense. No, that makes sense. Roll to see if you hit him. Yeah, that works. Which I'm pretty sure you're gonna hit him because he's prone. He basically just gets his armor. Like and I get advantage he because prone. he's prone if I'm prone yeah, if I'm melee. And, and he gets he basically just gets his armor. So that's a twelve and a twenty. I critted on the crit. Well, it's still fine. Use, can you do more than 11? <laughs> Roll uh, I, I actually don't know because I'm, I'm only attacking with a dagger. I, or no, no, I have a rapier. I do have a rapier. All right. Go ahead and so roll I might, I might be able to. But it is a crit. Uh, so so do, do the rules are even knowing double, double the damage and not double. Roll twice. 2d8 plus 2d8 plus Seven plus four. <laughs> That's eleven. That takes him out. All right. So, uh, and, and then and then I wanted to just try and tuck that back in my robes. I don't, I don't know what you're doing. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Jody, it's your turn. I will pull a set of manacles and I'm going to manacle his arm to his leg. <laughs> okay. This is uh, the sleeping gentleman I am standing over top of now. Correct, because the other sleeping gentleman is now dead. Uh, you what? Sibylla, Sibylla, there's one, there's basically one crossbowman left and the big guy. Okay, I will cast Chromatic Orb at the bandit captain. Okay. Uh, that'll be a, I uh, need to make a ranged spell attack. Ah. Uh, does an eight hit? No. Oh. Unfortunate. Re real quick point of order. 
Have I gotten my long rest in yet? Am I going to lose the temporary hit points that I just gained by killing this cocksucker when I wake up? Yeah, because to me, the long rest ends when you wake up in the morning. But this is the start of my shift of watch. Uh, if you weren't going to go back to sleep. Well, yeah, no, it's Sibylla. No, I, t- I was last watch. Still not. It's still not your watch yet. Okay. Longer okay. To, not sad thing is not much longer ago, and I'm sure you'll kill something else. So no, no, I know, but I just wanted to. So I'm not. It's a fair I'm, question. Uncle Who's Arthur there? goes out into the woods and finds a rabbit. <laughs> I have to make it hostile towards me first. Guys, sorry, Cassandra, <laughs> it's your turn. Okay, so I'm going to try really hard this time to stab this guy. Please do. <laughs> Can I help? <laughs> On your turn. 22. That hit. So rip your... Eight points of damage. All right. All right. Um, who that so is? apparently, Uncle Arthur, yes, you can help because he's still up. <laughs> The other guy, all right, the other bandit is still looking. All right, this is a new one. He's looking at you. He saw you shank his friend, so he's going to send a crossbow bolt. Nope, he's not. <laughs> and then the bandit leader, uh, Heidi, does a, what the hell is it, 17 hit you? Yes. Ooh. And uh, that's going to hit you because that was more. Owie. Oh wait, that's a 1d6 and a 1d4. Uh, oh god, 9 plus 6 is 15 points of damage. Okay, I'm out. Okay. You drop, yeah. and he spins around, and he's like, ah, who's next? Yeah. All right, our third your turn. Light this guy up. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not going to light him up. I sure. bought healing. I bought healing potions for a reason. I'm going to open open wide, honey. I got some, I got a little, I got a little present for you. All righty. So go uh, ahead, healer. I'm going to go on to Jody. That's fine. But yeah, because I'm not going to do a bonus or anything. Yeah, because he's gone around and started walking away from her because she's yeah. nothing now. Uh, Jody, it's your turn. I do not like doing this! And I'll run up to the bandit captain, pull out my billy club. Ah! Do it! Oh, uh... Are you gonna spray 16. Him? That'll hit. Okay. I will also add the divine smite. Cool. Uh, and I'm making this all non-lethal, if that's all right by you. That's fine with me. You can, you can do that. And there's no minuses to those rolls either. Mm-hmm. Let's see. While he's doing that math, that's 12 back. Thank oh, you. Oh, that's 7, 14, 18 points of non-lethal radiant damage. Oh, okay. And that is... I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <laughs> All right, Sibylla, what are you going to do? You've got one crossbowman that still looks kind of confused, and you've got the bandit king, who's is he like, oh, no, he's not as confused. That's right, he shot at Arthur. All right, I will cast he should, be able, he should be able to determine from that, yeah. I will cast Witch Bolt at the crossbowman. Okay. Come on, damn it, hit him. Now that should be good. That's a... Uh... Uh, it's a 13 plus 6. That's a 19. Go ahead, um. It's a 19, and that will do... Murder him. We'll do 9 points of damage. 9 points of lightning damage. Mm, for the sake of time, that takes him out. Um, It was close. I, I'd also say that as I'm shoving this down her throat, I'm going to revert back just because my cover's been blown. Yeah, they kind of know when you kill when it's mad. Yeah, but just for so she wakes up, it's not as confusing. All right, uh, that was Sibylla. Cassie, you're awake. And oh. now he's in combat with, you have 12 hit points, but now the guy's in combat with 
your paladin. Nice. Murderizing. So. Uh, <laughs> nine. That misses. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, so the crossbow man's going to try to shoot at Seville. I cannot believe how lucky Seville has been. Yep, and still is because it's a net one. And then the bandit. It's the, it's the tits. It's the tits. It's gotta be. It's gonna be our beauty. No one wants to hit her. All right, so the bandit captain has a bigger threat now, and he's gonna try to hit you a couple times. Okay. Uh, does it, that's pretty good. Um, 21 hit you with the plus two AC because he's trying to miss the, the guy. That it would hit. indeed hit. And then the other one is, wow, uh, 20. Uh, that will miss. That will miss. Okay, so I need 21s to hit you. Did, did so you get a chance to don your armor? He's sleeping in I it. I slept in it. Point of oh, oh, that's, oh, that's right. We determined that. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. So um, take eight points of damage, slashing damage. I refuse. Stone's well, endurance. Yep. Oh. And I ignore all of that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Arthur, it's your turn. Oh, let's see. Uh, I have line of sight, right? What's that? I have line of sight. Yeah, you have line of sight. You said okay. so, and you about, have about, about, about how far? Just give me just from from not far, like probably ten feet from you. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm going to blast this motherfucker. Uh, that's going to be 19 to hit. Okay, that hits. Uh, he's going to take 1d10 plus 5. He's going to take 8 uh, force from my Eldritch Blast. Okay. And I did not take Repelling Blast, so that's it. <laughs> All right, that's still 8 points on him. Okay, Jody. I, 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 I will use my bonus to hand her my other healing potion. Not not right. feed it to her, but give it to her. Okay, that's, thank that's you. fair point. I've uh, got one of my own, but thank you. Well, clearly you need another one, honey. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, mine's over there in my pack. Jody, sorry, it's your turn. Oh, that is okay. Um. I am going to class sleep once more. All right, roll how many hit points are left, although there's not a lot of hit points left. 16, 22, uh, 26 total. 24. I, I, I hope that he's lower than 12. Oh yeah, uh, that is right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which one, the... Um... <clears throat> you know what, that will take them both, they both fall asleep. <laughs> I will go with that. Coom, they fall asleep. I put manacles on Bandit Captain and I go pick him up. I pick other one up and I toss them in carriage. All right, and they are they are alive. I think there's I think only there's what two alive. Um, so they I, are. I could have grabbed the one. The first yep. one died outright. Yep. I think I killed one of them. Where you said it was really close. I forgot which one you said. Um, it said, it said, I think there's only two still alive. I that think. makes sense. The captain oh, one was left. No, I think there's three still alive. One was slept in the first one that nobody killed. And then you had the two that are sleeping now. And the leader, you did non-lethal. So, um, so anyways, you guys, you throw them in the cart. The cart's getting a little crowded. Did, and, did just point of order, did any of them have more than 12? Uh, well, I think she's trying to aim for a 10 o'clock stop time or at least yeah, sooner yeah. than mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was, uh, yeah, one of them did. The leader still had, uh, the leader still had, the leader still had enough points to absorb it, but I'm like, well, well, yeah, no, it would have gone, gone, it would have gone to her instead of him. No, she, no, no, the, um, the leader it's had 40, more than the it's, other it's one. 40, it's 40 foot radius. Right, but the leader, 
Delita Let's Sophia. skip this. Let's continue yeah, on, okay. Miss yeah, we'll, 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 we'll talk about it after. We'll talk about I it. I have I have the right <laughs> order, and I also have the yeah I have the right order. Okay. All right. Um, I believe right. you. So because it would go to the person with less hit points first, right? Right. And lower level, right? So hey, no, not, hey, not hey. lower level. Not lower level. Just lower hit points. It went to the person with the lower hit points. Oh dear God, people! I love you all. So. So basically, you get your rest of your night's sleep. You get up. Uh, any, oh, anything else you guys want to do with any of the bodies or anything? Before I, you... I want to search all of them. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll I'll help her. So basically, you find the crossbows and their weapons and stuff. You find um, you find some you find some gold, but it's foreign. It's foreign gold. It's it's Zorish monarchs. Um, mm. And if anybody took. Zorish is a language. There is a like a short note in one of the pockets. I have the anthropologist mm -hmm. background, which means that I can, I, after hearing it, I can determine it after a while. Mm, can you read it? I, I can not. No, probably not. It's got to be read. <clears throat> yeah, so, well, I'll take the letter and I will hold it up to Granal and I will say, Granal, can you read this letter for us? And he reads it in Zorish. So, yeah, he actually looks at it interestingly enough and he's like oh, this is interesting <clears throat> it has my description on it and a, a map and that's pretty much all it said it said take take me alive but they can welcome to handle the rest of you the however they wish and it's got a map on the road you were traveling on and where they thought you might be Oh, but not a map where we should drop him off? No, no, that's not what this shows. Oh, okay. You kind of had me confused at the beginning. I am no longer confused. Thank you, Granal. Would you like um, something for your good reading? Sibella. Came me to the cart instead. <laughs> instead of you. No, I, uh, I, rolled a, um, I rolled an investigation check to see if I can try to put two and two together. And uh, I rolled a 17 plus uh, six. So that's a 23. And I'm trying to basically think that because character knowledge versus player knowledge. Right. And I'm thinking that this probably means there's a spy, another spy that hasn't been found. And we need to keep this information and give it back to the person who sent us the quest because there's a mole somewhere in his organization. Um. Taryn, Taryn, I don't trust Taryn. Taryn's a double agent. No, I'm just, I'm just saying that. Uh, that <laughs> that's what I'm saying. There's a third the hat. Hey, Taryn, Taryn's, Taryn's a double agent. She doesn't deserve to get me sent back. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll turn into her when we get there, and I'll just take me back, and they can have my way with me. Well, I mean, this is really the only road into this area, so it's not so much there's a spy. You this was this was scheduled. This was scheduled. Yeah, scheduled enough so that you don't necessarily think it was a, a double agent within Rascal. Well, well, both parties, I knew, both parties knew of this. I meeting. think it was, and and you can think it was. But but both but, parties knew of this meeting enough in advance. Correct. Okay, that's fine. It's it's not that important. We can go on. But you may not be wrong in it being a third party somewhere. <laughs> we should interrogate Cranal. Grinnell. Oh, let me, oh, let, oh, let me, let me. Grinnell seems a little, if you want to make an insight check, make an insight check. Of course I will. I love Grinnell. I have gotten to know him very well. You have. That is a, a 10. Well, and, and, you know, and you know what? Since since all my spells are coming back in the morning, I'll comprehend languages to, to verify that information. Yeah, it's he's telling the truth. Okay. And, and Because Grinnell, he is good guy. Grinnell seems a little confused by why, you know, this also does seem like the sort of way they operate, that there'd be an obvious note, um, that they would be briefed before they were sent out for something like this. Um, but anyways, you get the rest of your night's rest, and you head off, and you, you aren't impeded. You get to the meeting spot, and about noon, across the bridge, you see um, a couple of thugs thuggy types, and you see like a, a soldier dressed in Zorish armor. You guys know. Brutes. 
and they bring a red haired short girl in chains and they're like ho there do you have do you have our man before 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 we do this at, during our approach i sound something i'd like to throw throw past the group how about how about we offer me just in case this goes south i can do that one more time where i become him Oh, honestly, I was thinking about letting Grinnell go because he seems like a real nice guy. Yeah, if he was a nice guy, he wouldn't have been in jail. But he's not in jail. He was. <laughs> he, he was. The only reason he's not is because we're, we're doing a slave trade. We turned him to good. Okay. Are you, are, oh, can I, I, can I turn, can I turn are, 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 are you good now? Jody, we, we have a job to do. We were we were asked to do a job. We have to do the job. Now, if Grinnell wants to come back, and I'll kind of wink at Grinnell a little bit, he can come back. We'd be more than happy to help him, I'm sure. Yes, yes, no problem. Yeah, we can help him. We, he can come back, but we have to do what we were asked to do. Now, do we still have the two other thugs? In the cart. That were thrown in the cart. Are they awake now? They've been, uh, I, I would have gagged them during Yeah, the, at this point, they're probably awake and in chains and not too happy. But, but I've, I've, I know, I, I know I would have gagged them because I, I, I've, I've got plenty of ball gags. <laughs> I have plenty of handcuffs. Only so, one set is fuzzy, though. What you, so what, I got them what from gonna, my mother. Yeah, I am dying to find out what you're going to do with them in this situation. The fuzzy Please. handcuffs? No, no, you're there. Those are for later. Oh, oh, let me out, let me out. Oh, release me, jailer. <laughs> so wait, you did, basically the way it started was they did walk up and say, you know. I, I know, but but before we get there, I'm proposing to the group, DM, cover your ears. I'm proposing to the group, I'm proposing to the group that we send me just until we have our prisoner to make sure that nothing goes funny. I agree. Um, that's a good idea. Okay, yeah, we we'll, we can do that. Because oh I because I can do I can do an in an imperceivable duplicate. So I, I I'm perfectly fine to do that. And, and you know what? If I'm captured, I'm captured. They can rough me up all they like. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'll put it this way: you know enough about them that they will not rough you up. They will likely murder you. Oh, stab me with your pork sword. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guy is into some real kinky shit. Throw it that way. <laughs> no, you guys know. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm willing to take one for the team. It's up yeah, to you. If, if they would kill him for that, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, well, well, no, we'll, we'll, we'll see if they, we'll, we'll, we'll say send her first. Yeah. And then, and then we can actually do it because I'm not trying. I'm not trying to not send him. I'm just trying to make sure. Yeah, that make we, we get ours. Actually, let yeah. her go. Okay. Yeah. Are we gonna send the other two guys with him? Fuck no. No. Okay. No, no unless, unless they're willing to negotiate, I, I'd offer negotiations for that. Oh my god. I, yeah. Under hundred gold isn't nearly enough. <laughs> All right, so what do you, all right, so you're there now, and how do you respond? Well, I, I think we ought to say, yes, we have your man. And say, yes, we have your man. And, uh, and where they him? He's still chained, probably, to friend Jody. But, but they, Jody's in the cart with the slaves. I am. I suppose I am. We would, we would have suggested that, yes. They will okay. Because you have to make sure that they're not rattling around making too much noise, drawing attention. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. Ah, I'm yeah. sorry. So wait, so it's only three of you out there right now? Correct. Okay, so they will bring this person up who's in change, pull a, pull a you know, thing off of her head, hood off of her head. Matches the description. And they need a red-haired, slight girl. Um, I, I drilled him for as much information yeah. as possible. You know it's her. That's okay. the okay. Where is where is our where is the prisoner? Where that, that's that's what I look like. All right, send him over. Okay. If there's any funny business, we have somebody in the we have somebody that's hidden. 
with a crossbow trained on this bridge. So, do we. so, so, so my hand, but I would have, I, I'm assuming that I would have allowed myself to be cuffed. So I have to go and I'm going to go behind the cart to have him release my cuffs. And while we're doing that, we're going to substitute him for the real one. That's fair. All of a sudden he goes, wait, wait. And then he pulls her back. When you send him along, we'll send her along. I said and no then, fun. And, and then, and then, yeah. If you, if you want to proceed that way, that's fine. As long as I've determined. A little weird. You're going behind your height. You're disappearing instead of just proceeding forward. That's a little strange. So he'll pull her back, and yeah. then when still, if you bring the real one out, then he'll re release her. Yeah. If we do that. That's fine. Okay. So then she comes across. And as long as you let them go across, there'll be no bolts coming out. Yeah, I've got my cross, my hand crossbow out just in case. So they know we're serious too. They, when they get across and he rejoins them, they're like, thank you very much. And be on your way and we will be on our way. What, what, what's the distance across the bridge? Uh, I didn't really think of that. Probably about 20 feet. Oh, perfect. I, if, if, when I go behind the cart, I do drop that. Okay. Yeah. All right. And do you do anything else? I will grab Rainia and I will chain her to my back. What are you make doing? Sure she is okay. No, it's fine. Do not worry. <laughs> Uh, since he's been malnourished and everything, I kind of want to shoot him. I kind of want to shoot him at a hundred. It's only twenty feet. But he's, he's really like, nice guy. You said you I would know, help I, him I, come I, back. You know, you know what? The only reason I'm not going to do it is because you are so persuasive. I trust that he's going to make the right decision. Thank you, know, you. By the way, everyone make just for funsies. Make an insight check on Grinnell. <laughs> Three. I got a 17. Oh, yes. 22. All right. So I don't know what uh, Cyrilla made, but you two definitely get the feeling that if he could have turned around and waved goodbye to you, he would have. <laughs> I'm going to miss him so much. Well, no, no, no. So, so, that means, so that means he wants to come back and these are oppressors. He's basically holding form so that you can take your, not start any shit. Because if he does something, it could, if he does something to like jump to your side at this point, then all hell's going to break loose. You may lose your spy. I, I, I give him, I give him my number so that he can call me and we can figure something <laughs> out later. <laughs> I do and, not want Grinnell to leave. <laughs> But, so but just because he is a nice guy doesn't mean no he is a nice guy. That's yeah, there's right. no way that walking away, that, that trying to prevent this is going to end up with either one of us walking away. So no, I'm not. I'm not going to. They do they do not try to stop you. They do not try to to raise. Well, I, I mean walking. I mean walking back with him. There's no way that that's not going to end with everyone Mexican standoff done. Exactly. Yeah. So do you say anything else to them before they leave? If you guys ever want to become good guys, you can always come with us. Or if you want, I do have out. to chain you to start off with, though. They kind of just look at you and like, um, no thanks. We're happy where we're at, and then they start going off. Do we? Do we want to? Do we want to? Do we want to take these back for our people, or do we want to? Like, oh, by the way, <laughs> no, no, no. We no. want to make them good guys. Okay, you're gonna take them back. Yeah. Not, okay. that, that's, uh, you, know, you know what? No, no, I wanna what I, I would just like to say something in a cryptic manner. It's like, and by the way, we were aware that you had you sent some friends ahead of you and, and we'll be sure to give, give, give their families our regards. Oh wait, wait. All of a sudden with that he turns around, he goes, Wait, what are you talking about? We didn't send anybody bum, over. Bum, bum. We Who has the letter? That was joy. I, and, I, and I read the letter in its in its entirety with my Cambrian languages. Uh, do you read? So you read it to them? No, no, I read it that night. I, right, I, you read it that night. But he looks. I mean, you don't have to make inside checks to realize the guy looks legitimately confused. Like he, I mean. No, no, I'm not. I'm not talking to him. I'm talking to the people on the other side. 
That's what I'm talking about. They look legitimately confused. Oh, okay. They, they, they will say to you, we did not send anyone to attack you. That was not the deal. We, we wanted them back. Insight? Insight? Uh, go ahead. Make an insight check. Uh, that's a 19 plus at least three. You're sure he's telling the truth? <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Goes upon, he, upon, upon hearing that, upon hearing that, I would like to produce one of them and say, so you don't know this person. Uh, not one of mine. And yeah, not one of mine. Does Do they look Zorish? Does, does anyone else react? It, they, they had Zorish money in their pockets. Yeah, but do they, are they, they darker look, skinned? Yeah, they do kind of look Zorish. Do, do, no, do any, but do any of the, the leaders, like companions, react at his presence? They, no, they, they're all kind of confused by this whole thing. I mean, they're letting the leader handle it, obviously, but they're all like. But but, no, but none of them seem like, taken aback, like, oh, oh, Johnny, they got Johnny, ah, oh, no. <laughs> Nope, there's, there's, they have no idea. You can tell they have no idea who those people, who those people are. Okay. Hmm. Then, 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 then. I mean, we can take them back if you want and question them, but. Um, uh, I actually think that we'll be much more effective at that if you don't, if you have no, if you have no interest in them, we, we'll I handle mean, that ourselves. Well, we do kind of have an interest in why someone would try to mess this up. Or I tell you what, I will trade you one of the garants for Granal again. Mm, make up not the, the leader, not the not the leader. I said the grunts. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you said current. Make a make a persuasion check. At the disadvantage, uh, <laughs> fifteen <laughs> is the lowest. Seventeen and fifteen. Wow. And I will once again channel divinity and add 10 to that, 25. Yeah, that's really good. Um, they look I also you. have this they delicious dessert. They actually, would, 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 you, would you like a brioche? They'll look at Grinnell and be like, I know this is not the norm for our fair, for our country, but we they paid us a hundred gold. I'll give you a hundred gold on top of it too. You have you know what? No, no, no. I don't even think that's necessary. We don't. No, no, no. I, 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 no, no, no. We don't want Grinnell. We want Grinnell to be able to move as he pleases. Grinnell. The, so they will literally say to Grinnell, "This is definitely not the norm, but we are very interested in who tried to interfere with this, and even more so, if you wish to go back, then go ahead. We will give you a." The deal is we will give him a choice for the prisoner. If he wishes to come with us, then he should be allowed to come with us. But if he wishes to go back with you, then but either way, we definitely want one of the prisoners. <laughs> Does that sound fair? The prisoner for choice. <laughs> exactly. That's a, of big, course. That's a big thing for this country. That so, sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. That's yeah. So Grinnell actually will look at them and they're like, you know. And I have this bag of a hundred gold, Grinnell. They did treat us. They did treat me really. They did treat me pretty well there. And and Jody is <laughs> and, and his back was so soft and supple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Grinnell, well, we go. Yeah, I'll I'll go. This sounds like a worthy trade. And he's uh, across the bridge. And you all right, Jody gets confused. He unchains Rania, passes her back over, chains no. up. I, I, back I, over I, to I, where? I, I grab her before she gets. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we're, we were trading spies for. Oh, grunt! I'm I am sorry. And I'll go <laughs> grab one of the grunts, grabbing him like a briefcase because he's chained, <laughs> arm to foot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're right into the right into the river. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't. That was a little rough. I am I am sorry. No, you don't throw him in the river. Come on. Of course, I don't throw no, him in no, the river. No, but I, but I definitely have a hold of her. But if he gets a boo boo from like a splinter from being tossed on the bridge, I will I'll heal him from that because that is I am so sorry. <laughs> All right, to expedite this a little further, I mean, 
Mission accomplished. I got to run now. Da -da -da -da. You more than accomplished the mission. You get back to town. Um, basically, you check in. I would assume you just go to headquarters. I'm sure he's irritated yep. as fuck that we brought the spy back. <laughs> uh, well, yes and no. Actually, he's not because now they can't find out necessarily what he knew. Which, even though it wasn't that. Oh, true. Well, well, plus, plus we brought the other. The, plus we brought our spy back. So you brought but, your spy. But, but but I I want I want to present her after the fact. And you brought a couple others who they were more than happily lock up. Um, not Grinnell. Not Grinnell. No, Grinnell. Oh. They will. They will give refugee status and let him reside in the city. I, I would help. I would help in a persuasion check to to encourage that. Oh, they. <laughs> nah, you don't need to. Um, you know, Grinnell is, would be pretty persuasive too. To like, hey, I'm. I'm. Uh, these people showed me the way. Oh, just away, <laughs> and you succeed. You get paid, and uh, you go. I give my money to Grinnell, but if someone would like to chip me of my money, because I cannot count money. I... <laughs> <laughs> How much is this? Much? There's one for you, Jody, and there's one for me. There's two for you, and there's two for me. <laughs> do they do you say any all right so what do you tell them about the two extra or the three extra prison or two extra prisoners sorry one extra prisoner no two because there were three that were still alive we, oh. we gave them, we gave them one of the one grunts one. we brought back a grunt in the captain exactly so there's two anything you plus wanted Ray, to plus rainia i'm not letting her out of my sight i want to i want to i, I i'm going to insist that i be around before she and, and debrief her before she's released back into society, because Why? She, well, needs be, she needs to be released of her briefs. Um, well, that is true. But uh, what I have confidential for the for the city watch. But maybe I'll hit. Maybe I can run into you later. How about how about how about you? And I'm going to cast suggestion. <laughs> how about you give me? How about how about you make this a a special exception in this one circumstance? And the leader, Lorathan, steps in. No, 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 no. Just that, that, let me debrief her first, and then no, because I'm sure there's things she needs to say that need I'll to. Cast it back. Okay, I, I got two. I'll cast it on him too. <laughs> but then it drops on her. What's your will? What's the uh, what's the sixteen? Sixteen. Uh, sixteen. It's a really goes against what it goes so against what he needs to do. I mean, this is but talking it, about it's not going to harm him in any, in any way. It's not that you're 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 not in the military. You're not in the royal family. You're not. But we are. We're, like, we're, 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 we're well known. We just completed this. I have vital information that's also going to be useful. I want to be well, able to corroborate her story as she's as she's telling it. Then you can talk to me. But you don't think that's going to work. I actually rolled well, pretty. What did he roll? What did he roll? Uh, I can actually look up a paladin that's higher level than you. I mean, the, uh, a low level it would have to be really, really high if it's that difficult. Yeah, but, it's like 10th uh, like level. Yeah. I don't have stats, okay? So <laughs> I'm going to say no. The state secrets involved. Oh, all right, fine. You can stay for part of it, but when it gets to the state secrets, no. I'll, 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 I'll acquiesce. I would like to add that Jody has let Grinnell go free. Yeah. And the bandit captain is now backpack spooning partner for the rest of the trip back. <laughs> I am going to convince the bandit captain to be a good man now. Yeah, but he's going to have to spend some time in jail, and they're going to have to debrief him, too. I don't want to leave him, though. You can you can I can't him. sleep without him! You can you stay can with him. him. You can put him whenever you want, or otherwise maybe Grinnell will stay with you. <sighs> you can have but I don't want to spoon Grinnell. You can have big spoon or your little spoon, but not both. <laughs> I do not like willing spoons. I prefer the unwilling spoons. Hey, hey, hashtag, you know, hashtag, you know, hashtag, not all women. Yeah. You know, uh, Jody, there are more lawbreakers in this town, which I'm quite sure you can, spoon. you know, spoon with. 
Is that poor child trying to feed a starving family? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. And with that, mm -hmm. I'm the end of the session. <laughs> Oh my God! Thank you guys. That was amazing. Um, I hope you liked it. Good uh, job. Oh yeah, that Very was good. good. Very good. Job. You're yeah. welcome, guys. I'm happy to do this for all of you guys and bring Jody into your lives. Jody is amazing. All right, that, that, brings that is my final thought. That brings us to final thoughts. Carol, you go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to direct this here, Blake. You go ahead. Your final. <laughs> oh, oh, I. You know, I always like getting it in the end. <laughs> <laughs> did you enjoy it? Oh, oh, I always do. <laughs> no, no, you did. You did a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. Great, 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 great job. And that, and but this is also why I was saying yesterday. I'm like, the medium, the medium, just the way it it goes. It time goes so much faster on that side of the chair than you. It ever really will. does. It really yeah. does. I cut out of. I did have a potential fight. I didn't have stats for the the guys there, and if there was time. There probably there would have been another fight, but yeah. And, well, and, and, and even though we had the the one and a half altercations, that was still a very eventful, enjoyable yep. experience. Yeah. I think the best part was all of your role playing. Your role playing in between, I think, really made this so much better than even what I conceived. All right, <laughs> so that's why uh, Heidi. Your final thoughts? Okay. This was a lot of fun. And hey, Jody and I are both still alive. You didn't so. kill each other. Congrats. <laughs> Why do you think Jody would kill you? Because <laughs> Kyle's playing him. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. hurt. I may be an original murder hobo, but I'm not that much of a murder hobo in no. here. No, you're <laughs> where it counts. No, this was a lot of fun. Right where it counts. In, right in, here. In the tank. All right, Heidi, anything else you'd like to say? Do you feel good to come and play back in my sandbox? Yeah, this was a lot of fun. I, I like you as a GM as well. So, it's, uh, Kyle, I like you too as a GM. Yeah, he's good. Thanks. It's thing. just that gal Hallie, you know, she rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah, we'll have to talk wait, to wait, her. Hallie, how, did Hallie play one recently? I think no. last week. Oh, she did? No. Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. So funny. Um, okay, so Scott, your final thoughts? Was I was I worthy, GM? Well, absolutely, absolutely. That, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to work a little bit more in Sevilla. I want to bring her back, but I have to She's make... Great. I have to make her a little bit more debilitated. Yeah, she, she needs to be. She needs to be something else. It's something else is missing. She just can't be hot. She also needs to find a way that she needs to use it all the time. And I don't know how to do that just yet. So maybe I need to make her um, really smart, but not very wise. And that's always getting yourself into trouble. Slutty, um, slut, slutty. She, she was, she was a little bit too. She wasn't as aggressive as she should be. That's, maybe, how, that's how she's gotten to so where she is. Maybe I need to make her probably needy. I think. Needy. Oh, good. Yes, good. Really. Good. Really. But I, I mean, I also like to think that maybe, maybe multi-dimensional too. I mean, she is really intelligent, and I, it'd be really cool if you lean maybe even on on that too. I, would, I, would I mean, I might personally switch over to an enchantment school of uh, wizardry. Well, that way good. she's putting herself right in the front lines. And if it doesn't work, it's like an oh, shit. Um, that's oh, what man. I was going to say. I would that's be tempted to turn her into a knowledge cleric. Yeah, that, that's our, I don't want to do clerics. I, I, I don't know anything. <laughs> well, well but she doesn't have to have healing. She can, she, can take, she can take a prudence build where it's all, I, I, I want you to do this for me. I want you to do that for me. Yeah, that, that's what I was kind of going for. She's used to having people do things for her and uh, because she can't do anything for herself. But I just don't know how to, I haven't played that in a while. That's, that's what I wanted to challenge myself. And this was like a little introduction here, but I'm gonna have to develop a little bit for a long, a little bit longer, and uh, and see what I come up with. But I, I I like the idea about making her an enchant an enchantress uh, instead of um, instead of an evoker. So I'll have to yeah, think. Yeah, that's it. that's a good way. Still keeping her basic defenses low. You're right, you're right. 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 Okay. 
I liked her though, and you got shit lucky because I rolled so bad every time I tried to. <laughs> and 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 with tits to, tits to the breeze, you would have been fucked. By the way, by the way, yeah, I don't want her wearing like anything, like basically like just a robe. That's all she ever wears. She has, you know, a a, a back. Uh, me, I mean, a backpack, a simple backpack with her spell book, her walking staff, her robe, and that's it. That's all she has. Basically. Well, Friggin naked chick, man. I ha I played a character. That always naked. No, like no real money on her or anything else like that. But she kind of, you know, is always used to having people buy her drinks, buy her food, buy her this, buy her that. She's just used to that, you know. So Daddy's a girl. Daddy's a boy, and boys and can go broke, but a girl will always have something to sell. <laughs> right, right. And, and and so I'm 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 I, I just you know I. It needs development. Needs development. But um, I it, it was a good way for me to roll it out. And thank you for being patient with me there. No, no, it was fine. Although I was gonna kill you when you walked away, and I'm like, because I can't see everybody. I mean, I could look over. Eventually, I looked over my phone. I'm like, oh, he's not there. And I was like, oh god, I'm spinning in the wind. Uh, All right, just to satisfy her, what is your AC without mage armor? No, it's 13. No, you no, no, no. it is confirmed. Okay. Gonna, okay. <laughs> Major Germer does bring it to a base of 13, though. I did actually miss it, and I forgot how the friggin'. I, I don't remember every single rule. All right. Remember thou art mortal. Remember oh, thou art mortal. But as an FYI, the the regular bandits in the fight had, I had 11 hit points, and the bandit leader had 20. Three still left. So no, the sleep spell went to the first guy, the thug first, and yeah, he's right. rolled. Mm -hmm. but he, oh, yeah, but that, he, I he did do that he, right. There just wasn't enough hit points to get them both, and I'm like, it's getting yeah. late. Yeah, yeah. The so, leader, the leader shouldn't have been knocked out, but yeah, it's DM. Uh, DM, uh, DM, oh, for, DM <laughs> <laughs> no, D, no, DM's so, discretion. First rule, DM's yep. discretion. Yep. Yeah, Wait. I mean, it's unless said, I'm it's, right. What? And this is where where I'm going, sort of going to a time limit. I mean, we're obviously over now, but yeah. not too horrible. Not not Kyle levels. <laughs> so I want to thank everyone out there for watching. I want to thank, of course, you guys for playing. You guys made this oh so much fun. Um, of course, as I say follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, uh, join our Discord uh, so we can talk gaming. Uh, of course, buy our stuff uh, at our shop. And we'll also figure, oh yeah, YouTube. If you want to see any of our old games or old adventures on YouTube or catch up on the campaign. And last night's episode was awesome. Yeah. I really did it. You, you, um, you, know, you know which one was better? Go watch Murder of the Doge. That's where I that's where I created this. Yeah, okay, there you go. Okay, <laughs> Murder of the Doge uh, plug in there or or this is the Trevor Project uh, episode. Oh, where... Go watch the Trevor Project episode. Well, don't yeah. watch the murder hobo Trevor Project episode. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, well, we did have, what was it? You you got naked. It, or it, was, it was him and me, and I was too shit-faced to remember anything, and he showed his ass. <laughs> but not as much as Tamlin a couple no. weeks ago. Oh, God. No. <laughs> but that is some, where you some played righteous Jody aspect. before, right? You said you played Jody before in that game, correct? So if you want to see the origins of that character, oh. they... Uh, uh, again, I was too what is it? We're not going to plug them tonight, though. You uh, watch the earlier episodes, and we'll plug Callie at that point. But we're not going to plug. I'll, them I'll, I'll plug my own sound. All right, and one mm. final thing, of course, if you want to see it at this table, just contact uh, contact our fearless leader Frank via either on this DM him on Twitter uh, under uh, M Hobo Inc. Um, at, at, at M Hobo Inc. Inc. Uh, so you can contact him that way or join our Discord and then you can DM him there or tell uh, us. Email should be somewhere too. Yeah, their email. I don't remember what the friggin' email is uh, off the top of my head. Maybe like moboinc.com. At gmail. Yeah, at gmail. See, I don't remember it. I just hit reply. That's what I do. I don't. Yeah, the, 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 queen, the queen of reply all over here never has never once had to send an individual email to anyone all right everyone have a great night have a great easter if you celebrate i hope it's you had a great day and all praise is to all austero and mm -hmm. have a great evening all right everybody wave you're watching